Tom Brady had a torn MCL almost all of last season. Nobody knows exactly when he tore it, but there's like he was never on injured reserve or, or he wasn't on the injury list. Um, I mean, they're saying that he began dealing with the problem in April or May of 2020. And there are people that are saying that it's possible that he tore it when he was with the Patriots. Yep. And didn't disclose it to them. Yeah. And it's like just this nonstop, like all, all weekend long, it's been all of this stuff. Like the NFL has declined to comment on it. Um, what do you even do in this situation? Like it, it's like the Bucks. I don't even know if they necessarily knew that he had torn it. Well, yeah, no. If as long as the franchise doesn't know, then I don't know that there's a whole lot you can do. If the franchise knows and they don't disclose it, that's a problem. Okay, um, because you you do have an injury report for gambling purposes, obviously, and and um, you know it it's. They they have certain liabilities to the league. Um, I don't know that the individual players do though. I, I think there's a world in where you know they still have their rights to HIPAA rights. They still have the rights to disclose you know go me- personal medical stuff if they'd like, as long as they're not leaning on the team for uh, for you know. Yeah. No, I'm I'm with uh, you. Any liabilities on it? It's the whole thing is so strange. Like it's pretty amazing. It's yes. <laughs> pretty amazing though like the fact that he won another super bowl playing with a torn mcl and didn't basically tell anybody about played it. the entire season yeah with with a bum knee but knew if he said something he's gonna end up with surgery and therefore he's not he's gonna miss he'd miss the season that's just my he refuses to miss the season he refuses to sit out games he, he he's he's it's, absurd it's pretty it's pretty incredible i don't i don't know any other way of saying it um you know, so many people have finally come over to the right side out of this argument. Now that he's left the Patriots, it's easier to, you know, absolve your hatred for Tom. Um, but I, I, you know, it, however you feel, however you get to that point, I'm okay with, I don't, yeah. I don't care if it's, you know, I, I still get to hate the Patriots. Um, but, but I, I'm now, I'm now in seeing the light of, of, of how amazing this guy is. He's been at 10 Super Bowls. Yes. Been to ten Super Bowls, Gary. And one there are guys that there are guys that are going to be in the Hall of Fame that won't have ten playoff wins. There are guys that that won't have a Super Bowl win. Like, oh yeah, I mean it's no, just ridiculous. No. Like, I I just uh, the whole thing is mind blowing. Looking at it, um, yeah. when when it popped up on Friday, I immediately thought, okay, we are going to have to talk about this because I I can't wrap my head around the idea that he didn't want to tell anybody. Because he didn't want to not play. He didn't want to miss the season. He knows he's 43 years old. This year, he played the year at 43. He knows that if he tells somebody and he has the surgery, there's a really good chance his career is over. This yep. is a guy that's, I do think, Tom, we've talked about this before. Part of his being so driven, part of his being so great is he's unstable. Okay. Oh, he's yes. mentally not in yes. a healthy place. And I, 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 I'm just, I'm just assuming here. Okay. I don't think he, he has a, a mentally, a healthy outlook on life. All right. And I do think he's afraid of not playing. Now I might be way wrong on this. Okay. But I think this is a guy that's terrified, even though he, he seems to have a pretty great plan for life after football. Yeah. With the TB12 stuff, it seems like he's afraid to start that life. Yeah. I mean, he, he's got a family. He's got the wife. He's got the kids. They now live in Florida. They He's got a business to run after football. He could do anything he wants to do. That's right. He just well, he never he didn't it. even need the business. The business is just to keep him busy because he's yeah. got all the money a, a, a human being could need. Yes. Um, He's, he's doing it. He's doing it just just for himself. He's he's really only doing this because he doesn't want to not do it. It's which there's going. something beautiful to that, but but man, there's you know, do you think at some point in time it's at all you know unhealthy for him to keep doing it? I mean, obviously he's hiding injuries from people. Yeah, it's it's a little bit it's unhealthy. It's it's also mentally unhealthy, but. Hey, cheers to it. I'm enjoying the the absolute hell out of it. 
Like this is this is next level kind of stuff. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.